Hello again, welcome to another edition of The Real Ale Guide. As you can see, I've got a special guest on the show today. Um, this is my grandfather, Jimmy Morris. Um, we're doing a, I got, basically I got a beer sent to me yesterday from My Brewery Tap up in Huddersfield, www.mybrewerytap.com. They sent down a big bottle of, well it's a 750ml wine bottle size, bottle of Manchester Triple, a Belgium style strong pale ale. Um, it, it was fitting because I wanted to do something for my grandpa's birthday. He's coming up to 80 years of age in, in a couple of days time and this come through in the post I thought it was absolutely fitting. I got straight on the phone to him as soon as it came he said yes let's do a beer review. So here we are. So um, would you like to get the beer open grabs? Well I haven't seen a bottle of top like that. Oh, for donkeys, yes. <laughs> with, with a cork? <laughs> with a cork, eh? Hey. <laughs> well, they were common years ago, weren't they? Yeah, yeah they were. Especially at the time when... Uh... Oh, oh, just a minute. I, got, <laughs> I can't help laughing. This brings me back now to a, a funny thing that happened. <laughs> in, uh, in, what, in Years ago when I was... Uh, when I'd had a bottle of beer and... Uh, it was... Me and the wife was just we just moved into this house. Yeah. Well we were sat on the uh, we were sat on the set here at quarter past seven and she says, uh, I'll make a cup of tea, then we'll watch the yes. we'll watch the curry. We'll watch we'll watch the we'll watch curry and uh, Well she just gets up off the floor off the chair and she moans, oh I said I asked her what was the matter? Well, she said, it's my ingrowing toenail is playing me up. So I said, well, get a bowl of water. And... Oh, just a second. Yeah, I said, get a bowl of hot water. I'm going to on for half an hour. Soak your blooming feet and I'll see if I can get the... Cut the nail for you. So with that... Here she comes. Eight o'clock comes and I get... I said... Oh, I'll go get the scissors. Well, I got the scissors, and there was no way I could cut it. It wouldn't have cut butter, never mind. I mean, they were, they were loose, they were loose. No way we could do it. So I had to wait till the following morning. Oh, nice. Yeah. And I, I said she could, uh, she could go down and get me a, a, a pair of nail, nail clippers. Yeah. But during the night, when I goes up to bed, I goes to bed and ten minutes after the wife comes up, she's only halfway up the stairs when she trips <laughs> and she yells. I thought I thought somebody was raping her on the bloody <laughs> stairs. So I run, jumps out of bed and I run, and there she is sat halfway down, I'm sat alongside and I said, what the hell's the matter with you? She sat here like screaming at front of life out of me. <laughs> She said this, I tripped on, caught this toenail, and she ripped it, ripped it right across, and it was hanging on by a thread. I said, let me give it a little yank, no, and pull it up, it'll be gone. You're not touching that, and she put it back into place. But we goes to bed, two o'clock in the morning, I scream, I jumps out of bed, and I puts the light on, and the bulb fuses, so I had to go out, out of the bedroom, out of the landing, put the landing light on, and I'm look, trying to look at him and I know what's, what's, what's this in my bloody back figure? <laughs> and I'm thinking I got a fish hook in my ass. <laughs> so with that, I start to wipe it all away, and then I turned it, ah! And I turned it the wrong way, I turned, it went in deeper. <laughs> so I turned it the other way, and he pulled it out. Now, Fish hook, it's not a fish hook, it's a bloody toenail. <laughs> so anyhow, I wiped it all clean in, and then the next job I had to do now was get a sticky plaster. And there I am in a minute now, putting the sticky plaster on, and I put that into place. And I go, oh. so what are I go, I'm not going to be able to go back to sleep now. So the first, that's why I'm laughing, that's why I was laughing with the bottle. I went to the fridge and I got two bottles of beer out and I sat I sat there and I thought, well, I drank a... Oh, that sounds nice. That sounds lovely, <laughs> doesn't it? What a good colour. Yeah. Mm. So I drank the two bottles of beer. 
There you go. I drank, I drank these two. I drank these two bottles of beer and I went to back. I went back to bed. In the morning, the alarm goes off and the wife gets out of bed on her side. I get out of my side now and um, we're about to make the bed when she says, "Oh, that tune is off." <laughs> And I'm standing there now like half garnet. Gone! My nose is bloody gone! I put it on my ass to a cat this morning! <laughs> so, so every that's, time you see a bottle with a coat in... I haven't made that up, that bloody fact like I should... Well, uh, well I can't show you this guy, can I? Can I uh, <laughs> yeah, we better not. <laughs> so every time you see a bottle with a coat in like that, it takes you straight back it, it, to... It brings me back, uh, takes me back all them years. So years ago... All bottled beers without a corking. Corking, yeah. Ah, yeah. right, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. fantastic. So the capping system must have come in in the 60s and 70s where they actually put, started to put steel caps in yeah. on beers. Right, I'm just going to get this beer, just going to get some more in. Show you guys the colour. It's, it's it nice looks like a golden orange to nice, me. Like, yeah, and it's nice and lively, nice and lively, yeah. yeah. It's, yeah, it's got a very, quite a small head, but it has been sitting there a while. Um, should we get the nose? Should we get the nose? See what it smells like? Oh, my, 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 nose, oh, my nose is a bit old now and it's a bit clogged up. But I can't... Isn't that zesty and orange? Yeah. You get orange? Yeah, that's like nice. orange that's, peel? That's, that's, yeah, that's, that's nice. That's nice. Wow, this is... This is 9% ABV. Would you, yeah. would you think this... The, the way this has been brewed and flavoured, would you say that's... Nine, does it drink like a 9% beer or would you say it's, it's something um, a lot smaller, like something 4 or 5, you wouldn't know the difference really? Yeah, but it would after a moment, after you've had 4 or 5. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. they wanted time when I used to drink these by the buckets. <laughs> <laughs> well, I used to do that when I was at sea. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's, that's bitter. That's nice. That's bitter. Mm. And it's, it's, it's sweet on the end. It's, it's, it's quite I, dry. I better, I better hold the bottle or you'll be drinking the bloody lot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's very nice. Oh, that's... Did, that's you, want, did you want any more of this? Yeah. No, no, no. for asking to send you another bottle. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Absolutely fine. Well, look at that. That's, that, it, it is that's bottle nice. conditioned. So, in yours... That's nice. In yours, it should be... Is it... No, there's actually not much sediment in there. No, there's no, 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 it's quite lovely. Um, okay, it's barley, wheat, store up, bright, don't cool. But with what I like about these beers, um, 9% ABV, is look at the sour bite on there, 2014. It means that you can age it for, for quite a while. Is there any sediment in there? No, I'm looking to see no, I was looking to see if there's a bloody toenail in there. <laughs> 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 that's what that's what reminded me of that. Really, uh, me. <laughs> yeah, and no sediment at all. No. That's, um, that's, that is nice. That's superb. It is, I, what I have noticed on the bottle as well, it, it's been, they made a batch for Britain. It's, it's, it's not going to be made all the time, I don't think, this beer. But they've made a batch for beer. But this is actually a, an American batch. If you see, it's got the government health warning on the side. So we're drinking something which would have been sent to America. Mm. Uh, this style, yeah. this style of beer is most definitely, I'd say, they call it a Belgian triple, was a strong pale ale. But if this, the Americans would call this a, a strong IPA. This is, this is a strong hopped IPA with a lot of... This has got a lot of New World hops in, um, probably Cascade, Centennial, uh, a lot of a lot of good good things going on with this beer. I'm loving the colour. Well, I wouldn't call it American. I'd call it mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, um, it's quite a medium. It's quite a medium mouthfeel. But mm. what I'm loving about it is, it's bitter. It, it's like. It's like, almost like you cut a grapefruit in half, and when we used to put sugar on the grapefruit, yeah. it's kind of got that grapefruity, zesty orange. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's very nice. It's almost as if you kind of sunk your teeth into an orange peel. It's that kind of, it's that kind of feeling. Yes, it's uh, very tasty. Mm. And you would never, you would never think it was nine percent. 
Not in a million years you would think that was nine percent ABV. That's drinking like that's drinking like a, a six percent beer. That is very very nice. Um, if you want to check out Marble Beers, it's www.marblebeers.com. But my brewery tap who sent me the beer, you can just check check them out on the glass there. www.mybrewerytap.com. If you check them out, they sell they sell beers from all over the world. They've got beers from Belgium, Britain, uh, America. It's a British company. Um, German beers on there. All sorts of beers from all over the world. Um, and yes, you can get some fantastic rare beers as well from this country. But I think beer, how would this, would, if I can ask you a question, Gramps, with this beer, how would this fit, where would you, where would you see yourself drinking this type of well, beer? I was in Benidorm last week. Yeah. I was just had a week's holiday then. Oh, the, the wife paid for me to go. <laughs> <laughs> and she, she paid, but I was my credit card. <laughs> <laughs> and we were drinking ales there, and it was well. It's, it's it wouldn't be a patch on this, not a patch, because mm. this is really nice. And you, uh, I think, if I had about two or three of these, you yeah, have to, you, might, you might have to lead me to the next room. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. I just there, noticed... I was drinking that beer out there. Eh? I mean, you were drinking it all night, and uh, you, you didn't feel as if you'd had a drink by the time you no. the time going on. You were just blocked it out. I found that where we went to. Yes, you could have a couple of these and know you had them. Yeah, yeah. The, I found that when we went to Turkey in in May. Mm. We were drinking it at FS Pilsner. If you check out FS Pilsner. On YouTube, you can actually see my grandpa made his first appearance there on the on YouTube on the channel where I showed them just panned round quickly with the family. But we were drinking; I was drinking beer because the spirits were no the spirits were no good, were no, they? No, no, no. I was drinking their beer day and night, and I felt absolutely fine. It was this almost yeah. as if it was non-alcoholic. But uh, that what? That one beer we had there, it was nice because I... The, I yeah, yeah, the bottled FS, yeah. When I said I'd have another, uh, I'd have one, wow. the only one thing better than that was another one. Yeah, that was, was it, yeah. I should have said, hey, where's the one off the bus? But <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> never mind. Perhaps you might give me one next time I go over there. <laughs> what, um, what sort of flavours, if you take a mouthful, Grams, what sort Because I'd like to explain that this is probably my grandfather's first time at a, at a proper craft beer. As a first timer, what sort of flavours you pull in from the drink, personally? Well, now I've got it past my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> All I can say is very nice, <laughs> and it's. Uh, uh, I have quite tasted any another beer like it. And I, I, I could, I could, uh, I could really do with another bottle of that. <laughs> we'll go on you the must, internet and order some. You must have known that, or that's why you left it home. <laughs> <laughs> I should have brought some more, we could have done this all afternoon. <laughs> I should have brought some more, we should have done some more, yeah. Yeah, but everyone's going to see you home. <laughs> that's the trouble, that's the trouble, that's why. We've done this in the past, we've sat and drunk and... Um, and uh, well, one more quick story. Um, years ago, um, my grandpa was a notorious drinking in Barry. No, obviously not. Not um, in a bad way, but um, he somebody um, challenged him to a, to a drinking competition. Oh yes, oh yes, that was uh, mine. At the time, yeah, with the job that I was doing, if I if I wasn't going to go for a booze, I used to come up at uh, up to the bus stop. Yeah, and the I'd knock off at work at five o'clock, and I'd go into the club. Yeah, and I'd be in there. There'd be two pints on the bar ready, and they go they go straight down. I come outside now and I catch the five past five bus, so you know, I won't be in there four minutes. Yeah, wow. and, I, and I have two pints of uh, lager, uh, two pints of lager or beer. Yeah. Whatever, but I, but I was drinking at the time. And then I go, I would go home, and I wouldn't even go to the toilet till the following morning because I was perspiring that much during the day doing yeah. the job that I was doing. Yeah, yeah. But wow. I, you know, like I said, really, uh, that was just to put. Go back into my system every day. You know, my grandpa used to cut up trains for a living, and he had to, he had to wear a lot of leather gear. And, he, and uh, uh, boom, imagine boom, in boom, a height of summer wearing all that gear. So imagine two pints, like you say, would have, would have gone back, no yeah. problem. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But then before before that, it was when I was working with uh, I was working with the fitters. Of course, yeah. I was I was the uh, the fitters mate. 
And uh, this doorman was, because years ago you couldn't, uh, the pubs the, the pubs would be shut on Sunday. Yeah. The only places that would open was the clubs. Oh, right, I see. I see. So this, uh, this this chap asked me, I mean, they're, well, they're, they're Scotsy, were it? And he asked me whether he could go for a drink on Sunday night. I said, well, I'm a member of the ex servicemen Squad. Yeah. You can come in there if you like. This is in Barry. This is in Barry, South Wales. Yeah. So we go to there now and I said, well, what are you going to have to drink? He said, like a half and a half. I said, what the hell is that? He said, well, it's a half a lager and a, and a, wee, wee, and a wee whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, that's what you call a half and a half in Scotland. Right. So I said, well, I'm drinking pints. And he said, well, I bet you can't drink as many pints as I can drink half and halves. So he said, all right, then, uh, let's have a, let's have, and whatever happens, I said, whoever, we, whoever get, quits first pays the other for his, la his drink <laughs> after that. So we went down, and well, there's only, uh, so every pint I had, it was two mouthfuls. Right. The first one went halfway down, and the next one went all the way down. And it went on till about a uh, quarter to ten it was. <clears throat> No, I drank 20 pints. 20 pints? And he, but Bo, when he had his first half and a half, he had his first half a beer, and he left about that much in the glass. And every time then, every round, he was going there with his whiskey, and he'd make sure all the drops went into this one glass. Yeah. Well, by quarter to ten, I'd had 20 pints, and he'd had 20 half and halves. Well. Oh. And I said, uh, I can't, I don't have to, if I said, if I could have another one, will you hold a glass this side and this side? Because it's the only way it's going to, if I goes in there, it's going to come up both my bloody ears. I am full to it. And he said, and I said, that's it, I can't, I, I got you then, he said, good. So he said, well, go up to the bar now and get me a whiskey. Yeah. I don't want the half, get the whiskey. And he got the whiskey and he poured it into that, there, with that, and that little drum, he just swilled it on my hand. I do, I catch you, you bugger, he said. He downed it. <laughs> I said, you know, you know, next Sunday when you're looking for a place to drink, find some bloody weather. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so <laughs> another great story there. But we're going to have to cut this. We're going to have to cut this short now. Um, yeah. What would you get? What would you give this out of ten? Ten out of ten rate. Ten out, uh, out of ten rating for this beer. Oh, it's got to be. Oh, got to be at least nine and a half. Yeah. At least nine. Yeah. And a half. Absolutely, nine and a half out of ten. <laughs> I've, I've just noticed as well. I've, I've got to say nine and a half because this half, this half is mine. If I could just <laughs> that'll show make, that'll make it ten. This glass off to the camera. Look, there is, there is sediment in this glass. Okay, so my rating. I think I'm going to join Jimmy Morris on nine and a half out of ten. I think it's a fantastic beer. I think when this actually ships to America, it's going to sell well. I really do think this beer. Manchester Marble Brewery in Manchester, uh, mybrewerytap.com, check out myself at realaleguide at googlemail.com, Facebook is facebook.com forward slash realalecraftbeer, and Twitter is twitter.com forward slash realaletoday. But thank you very much, Grampy, for, for joining me. Um, it's been a pleasure. I'm sure... I'm sure we're going to do it again in the future. Well, if you do, fetch two <laughs> bottles. <right? laughs> I'll fetch two bottles. <laughs> but uh, thanks for watching, and cheers. <laughs>